Okay, so what we're going to do here today is I'm going to make some sort of griffin, dragon, mountain lion creature thing. Um, I'm going to add a tail on it immediately and a head. And so before you start any project, what you want to do is you want to do what's called a rough cut. A rough cut is like a rough draft. Remember those things you were supposed to do in school for English, but you never do? Yeah, so the idea of the rough draft is to quickly put your pieces together in your image to see if it's going to work before you commit a whole ton of time to it. Because going through and cutting things out carefully and merging things carefully takes time and you don't want to spend you know, an hour or two on something and then go, oh, that was a horrible idea. So I've got this and I want to put a head on first. So I looked at some ideas for heads. So a couple things that I need to have. I need to have, for instance, a head going the same direction. This is not a big deal. You're like, but that's not going the same direction, but it's easy to fix. So I have this Komodo dragon head. I'm like, okay, Komodo dragon, want to make a dragon, seems to make sense. I can just grab the one side and flip this over, just like flipping page on a book. Um, and what I'm looking for in my image is something that fits, has a similar direction, has a um, the size, of course, and direction rotation-wise I can change, but it's looking the same way as a cougar, so it's going to fit in the body easily. And I need to have some overlapping texture because I'm going to blend the texture of the Komodo dragon with the texture of the mountain lion or cougar. Um, so this has that. However, the Komodo dragon looks bored. Not that they have a lot of facial expression, but he has very, very little even for a Komodo dragon. So I don't want a bored looking creature. So I'm like, eh, that's not going to work. That's out next. All right. So I go, okay, this is much more dramatic. I have this crocodile eating something terribly unfortunate and um, so I'm like okay that's dramatic but the problem I have with this let's quick do a quick resize um, I've got a little bit of texture overlap so that might work as far as that goes but the direction is completely wrong the mountain lion is looking to the right and this guy is looking at us and that just seems incredibly awkward the uh, Komodo dragon before fit much better as far as that so this one is also out um, no no, not at all. Uh, funny, but remember, use realistic photographs, or use real photographs, and don't use digital stuff, video game art, things like that, or especially small, plastic, goofy-looking toys. Uh, last one. So this is the one that I decided to go with. Uh, it's got a lot of good things going for it. Much more dramatic pose. He's a better actor than the Komodo dragon. He emotes. Uh, the direction is good. He's looking off to the right, so that fits. I've got a lot of texture here to blend, so this is this is all my stuff. This is what I want. So I'm going to cut this thing out. Now, if you notice, these other things were cut out, but roughly. There's a lot of background in here. This is why I call it a rough cut. I'm going to cut this out to see if it works before I spend all my time on it. Now, a couple ways we can do this. The default lasso tool is a tool that basically you draw with your mouse, and it cuts something out. This is pretty easy to use. However, a lot of people don't have really fine mouse control, or they have to go very, very slowly at it. So I'm going to use a variant of this called the polygonal lasso tool, which selects in straight lines. Now, if you are selecting anything, it doesn't even matter if you use multiple tools, I want to add to my selection. You can see I can change this to add my selection by hovering over this and clicking it, or, great shortcut, use the shift button. You can see when I hold the shift button down, a little plus appears. Now anything else I select adds to what I already have selected. And every time I click, I get a straight line in between those two points, and bam. So I copy and paste, command C, command V, and now I've cut that out. So I'm going to take the main crocodile head picture. I'm going to move it down to a folder called originals where I put all the stuff I've cut out. So I don't if I need it again, I can grab it. But meanwhile I have just the head here. And I want to match this here. So I'm going to do a cool trick. I'm going to switch the opacity to about 50%. Go back to my move tool. I can hold my shift button down to keep my proportions the same, and I'm going to match this up. Now, this might require some tweaks. I might want to rotate it, for instance, like that. But good enough for now. Put this back up to 100. Okay, we're good to go. So now I need my tail. So I've got that in here in my pieces folder. I'm going to take this and move it up in front of my mountain line so I can see it. Direction's wrong. Once again, not a big deal. I'll just take this thing and flip it around, move it up here, and that looks like it's going to merge quite nicely with that. And you can see I've rough cut this one out too, because this is going to take me a while to cut around this thing. We'll get back into that. 
So now I can look at this and say, okay, this works. I have a dramatic pose of a mountain lion. I've got the my dramatic fine acting co crocodile here. I've got the tail. Colors need to be changed up, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So right now my rough cut is a success.